Hi guys, just got this uh, step up converter and these are the specs on it. <clears throat> Input voltage 10 to 60, current 15 amp, output voltage 12 to 80, adjustable. So we can pause that and read the rest of it. This is the input side and it's got a 1000 nanofarad capacitor. These are the adjustment for the amps and the voltage. It's got a fuse and a power LED and a toroid type transformer. These are the output capacitor, 100 volts. And the input should be about 60, I believe. About 63. It's got two either power transistor or MOS FETs installed on this heat sink let me show you a comparison it's a little bigger than a pack of cigarettes The next step gonna be to test it. They say ten to sixty volt input and input current maximum of fifteen. So I may hook up a battery and check the output readings on it. So stand by please. Okay, I have the converter hooked up to a 12 volt battery, 8 amp an hour, so I'm way below the 15 amp maximum input of the device. And the output is connected to my uh, volt ohm meter. I think it has some residual charge in it the capacitors that are discharging right now so I'm going to connect the battery okay we have the power light on which is a good news and the voltage at 21.2 or 3 volts so he's taking the 12 volts from the little battery, gel battery, and converting it to 21 and some odd volts. I got me a little screwdriver. I'm going to try to see if I can play with the input voltage and check the readings. So right now we are at 21.2 see I'm turning the voltage adjustment clockwise and the voltage is going up Oh that's pretty good but there's no load on it so we're putting in 12 volts we're getting about 38 40 volts let's go all the way to 60 as they say Fifty.
Yeah. Yep, we're at 60 volts. With no load. This is enough to run my charge controller over there. That'll be amazing. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to 65, 66, 7. Let's push it all the way. We're at 80 volts. I'll be done. 80 volts at 10 amps. We'll short kick in the the charge controllers. There we are. I don't feel any heat, but again, there's no load on this device. I would love to play with the amp adjustment. Okay, it seems promising, guys. So I'll hook it up to the panels and see how far would it go. See you later.